come off the weight on the dot. So we are gonna get started. In the position of your choice. Jordan last night that someone else wanted to teach this class for me. Um, they're like, oh, I'll come over and I'll teach it. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And they're like, yeah, but I don't know how to do yoga. And I was like, oh, it's okay. Come on over and teach anyway. And they did a really good job in my dream, of course. In real life, this person obviously still does not know yoga, but would not have volunteered. And no offense, probably would not have done a good job. Only because they've literally never been to a yoga class in their whole life. Not that they can't do a wonderful job, but you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we're chilling, we're hanging out, we're resting, and we're decompressing. And I totally forgot to mention, I'm gonna be utilizing a strap this morning. So if you have something near you, grab it. We're gonna be working on the feet today. On Monday in chair mind body, we worked on the hands and the wrists. So today we're gonna to do the calves and the ankles and the feet. Gonna be in this starting position for one more minute to account for anyone who's rushing to get into class today. You ever want anyone to feel like they're rushed? And by taking an extra couple breaths makes it easier for you, then let's take a couple extra breaths. Okay, so we're gonna take our feet in front. No matter how you are, just bring your feet in front. You can be sitting on something, you cannot. Totally fine. And all we're gonna do is work on one leg at one time. So just pick one leg, pop it in. Concentrate one foot at a time. All we're gonna do is point the foot and flex the foot. And we're really, really, really gonna point. And we're gonna flex. We're really, really, really gonna point. We're gonna flex two more. Point. And flex. And point. And flex. I'm gonna take my tester up. I'm gonna loop it around the bottom. I'm gonna work on some flexing a little bit more. I'm just gonna point those toes super high up towards the ceiling and I'm just gonna pull back. It's, I'm gonna feel stretching, but I'm not gonna feel pain. I'm gonna relax. And then I pull back again. And I'm gonna relax. 
now I'm going to pull back and I am going to push on that band. So I'm pushing and pulling at the same time. Now I'm going to relax and see how much more I can stretch that foot. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to pull and I'm going to push. And I'm going to relax and see if I can pull that foot just a little bit more. And I'm going to release. I'm going to move that band out of the way. I'm going to take that foot. I'm just going to cross it over. And I'm going to do some nice ankle rolls on one side. Any creaks or crunches. And then I'm going to switch sides. Go through all the little ranges, motion, and have a grand old time. <clears throat> then once I'm done that, I'm gonna give my foot some love. So I'm just gonna go through and give a little push to points that feel like they need it, a little stretches to points that they need it, balls of the foot, arch of the foot, base of the foot, whatever, whatever you want. Take about a minute here. on the toes. You know what feels good. Okay, let's do the other side. So <clears throat> one foot's out, one foot is in, and we're going and we're pointing and flexing. And let's really point and release. And really point and release and point release and one more point and release. So you notice when you're pointing you're feeling a little stretch on this front of the leg and when you're flexing you're feeling it on the back of the leg. So let's do the back of the leg now. So on letting that strap. And I'm pulling gently, feeling a stretch, and relaxing. I'm pulling again, and relaxing, and now I'm going to do those push and pull. So I'm going to pull in, and I'm going to push. I'm going to release and see if I can go a little bit deeper. And then I'm going to push again. And then see if I can get a little deeper. Okay, beautiful. Release that. Take that leg, cross it over. Let's do some movement in that ankle. Up, down, left, right, all, all the ways. And then leaning forward and giving this foot a little love too. If you've ever had to deal with a plantar fasciitis or a broken foot or a twisted ankle or anything like that, you really can appreciate all the wonderful things that your feet do for you. And when you don't have them, how difficult life is. And how amazing it is that people can adapt when they have long-term issues with their feet and the legs um, and what wonders of science that um, amputee um, assistance devices are. And just even how far crutches have come. Okay. 
We'll stop that. <clears throat> Feet on the ground. Give yourself a big old hug and just drop that head. And hold here for a couple seconds so I feel a nice stretch. Really let the head go. And turn one way. And turn the other way. One more time, drop the head completely. Look up at a right diagonal. And down. And the other way, up at a diagonal. Beautiful, okay. We are going to transition, if you have anything you're just sitting on. Get rid of it. And I'm just going to still have my strap nearby. And I'm gonna sit back on my feet, so I'm gonna do one at a time. I'm gonna tuck some toes under. I'm gonna lean back. You can lean back as much or as little as you want. Try to put the stretch on as much of that foot as possible. Obviously, like you, your little toe doesn't hit the ground, that's fine. But try to get it as much in the other toes as possible. Okay, then let's switch it out on the other side. I like to do single sides because if you have a problem with one foot, anger on toenail or something like that where you can't do a movement, you can still get that movement benefit on the other side. going to do is pump that hamstring and lift and lower that lower leg. Let's switch sides. Beautiful. And let's go into a downward dog. So we're here. And we're stretching out those calves. And your knees can be bent and your heels can touch the ground or not. Bend one knee super generously and straighten the other leg a little bit. Stretch out that calf a little bit more. And then it's the other side. Release and drop those knees. Sitting back, rolling those shoulders back and down. Move those fingers around a little bit. Come up on your knees. I'm gonna come back on my mat. And I'm just gonna bring one foot in front. And I'm gonna lean on in. Switch it out to the other side. All right, 
bring that knee in. I'm going to lean forward. I'm going to tuck those toes under. I'm going to lean back and come into a toe stand. So I'm on my toes. And right now my <clears throat> hips are down. So I'm in this nice little hanging out. If I want to make it harder, I can lift up a little bit. And then slowly lift all the way up. Okay, so we're going to work on our calves a little bit here. So let's just nice and easy and feel free to hold on for something for balance. This is not um, a necessarily a balance exercise unless it is a calf exercise. So obviously you can make it a balance exercise. It's not a problem, but that's not what we're aiming for here. So we're doing both feet at the same time, just up and down, full extension. Okay, take a second, bring those feet out so you're in a plie position, toes are pointed out, and let's go up and down. No rush. And then we're going to flip it so we kind of have these little duck feet and our toes are pointed in. Now this one I definitely need to balance for up and down. Check it out. We're right, gonna go through that again, single leg. And if you want to do it double, that's not a problem. Stay, stay doing it double. You're just gonna have to do it twice as many. So the other leg can either be completely on the ground, and we're just lifting with one within like all the way to here. Makes it a little too easy in my personal opinion, but that's my opinion, not your opinion. What I'm gonna do is have the other foot just kind of. I'm gonna be kind of on my toes. And so I'm going to be lifting all my, most of my weight with this leg, but I'm going to use this leg as a stability balance. And I still have my balance point if need be. So 10, 10, point it out, 10, 10, point it in, 10, 10. All right, pick your side and let's go. Full extension. Other side. It's a beautiful calf action going. Okay, shake it out. Now, toes pointed out. Shake it out, and then final set. Toes pointed in. 
side. Wonderful. Shake it on out. All right, so we went from up, from down to up. Now we're going to go from up to down in a squat. So I'm going to have my feet about mat width apart. And we're going to do toes in, or so toes straight out, diagonal out, diagonal in with squats. The distance you go down is completely up to you. You can go down a little bit, you can go down a medium bit, you can go down a, a lot bit, up to 90 degrees. You would have something underneath you to actually have your glutes touch, like a chair if you want. All I ask is that the height you go down, you make it consistent for the whole gamut of squats. My arms just gonna be hanging out across my chest, but if they want to be somewhere else, wherever, whatever feels good, Actually, I was thinking I was going to be here, but I think I'm going to cross my arms behind the exact same thing, only because I'm constantly hunched over all the time. So if I can take a chance and reverse it, why not? All right, so my feet are mat width apart. They are facing forward, right underneath my hips for the most part. All right. None. Two more. Okay, and I'm going to point those toes out. Still about mat width apart, give or take. All right, let's go down and up. And then toes in the last group, I promise. And we're going to go with that lower body break and do a little upper body stretching. So, toes in, about mat width or so. You can adjust it. And this is a weird motion, so if I need to tuck in a little bit, that's fine. We're going to be able to tell if your knees collapse in with your squats because they'll hit each other. One more. All right, and relax. So when you're doing a squat, your knees should be staying nice and still. If you did those inward squats and you noticed that your knees kept on whacking each other, do you notice that your knees are turning in when you squat on a regular basis? Just something to think about. All right, shake it out. And we are going to go back down to the ground. If you got something you wanted to sit on, you go ahead and we're just gonna stretch out that upper body a bit. Give that lower body a little bit of a break. So I'm just going to sit however want basically. Alright, let's take one arm and just come up over the top. A 
and then the other side over the top. Come back to the middle, a spinal twist. However, you're sitting, you can make any adjustments you need to. But most places, in both ways, you can, most ways you sit, you can still do a spinal twist. And come back to the middle. Let's do some eagle arms. So both arms are out. Take the right arm, loop it underneath. Palms are together or apart, your choice. And lift the elbow up. Or both elbows up, I should say. If one comes, the other one goes with it. And relax. Now let's switch. Other arm goes underneath. Palm in or out. And release. Bring those arms in front. Hands to touch. Loop them around. Other way, hands to touch. Bend the top wrist that's on top and turn in towards it. So my hands here and eyes are rotating. Release, grip it the opposite way, and slight twist. Release. Take one arm, bring it behind, and try to reach towards that shoulder blade. Walk up the back. Opening up the chest, shoulders are down, straight back. And then walk that arm down, and now we're across. And release, other side, shoulder first. And then walk it down across. And release. Bring those shoulders all the way up. And then drop them down. Two more times. Up. Drop it down and up. Drop it down. Shake it out. All right, so we're going to do some crab kickouts now. <clears throat> Give it a little body a little bit of a break. Now, <clears throat> all right, so we can go what, a couple different ways here. So I'm going to turn sideways. We can either be here on our forearms. We can lift the glutes and we can kick. We can be here. Or we can be up in our hands, lift those glutes up and kick. So we're gonna do that 
first for 30 seconds. You can either be down on the ground or you can lift up and then we'll go from there, okay? So decide where you want your arms. Lift those glutes and let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Draw those glutes. Give your wrists a break if you were on them. All right, so you have one more set of those to do. This time, if you were on your forearms, you're going to reach and tap towards the opposite ankle, shin, knee, or foot. Otherwise, you're here, and you're reaching to tap here. 30 seconds. Same as before, you decide, are you lower or are you higher? No, um, so no shame in picking which one you want. It's your decision based on what you need. So I'm actually going to go down here for the second one. All right, same thing, 30 seconds. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. <sighs> Wonderful. All right, let's land our back. Bottoms of the feet to touch, knees out to the side, hands on your belly. Take five deep breaths in, feel that belly rise. Bring those hands to the outsides of the thighs, push them together. Hopefully your band is somewhere nearby. We're gonna loop that band around the bottom of your foot. Your other leg can be bent or straight, whatever feels good. And we're doing a slight pull. Working on that hamstring. Bend that knee and let's switch over to the other side. All right, whatever you did with the other leg on the other side, make sure it matches and pull on in. And that knee and release both knees in big squeeze big breath 
breaths. And drop those knees to one side and let go over the other. Switch on her over to the other side. Come back to the middle. We're going to set up for feet in the air for five full minutes. So that means I'm going to use my pillow as a way to prop my hips up and my feet up in the air. You can prop your feet up against a bed frame, a wall, a couch, anything like that. But we are going for five minutes. And this is part of our Shavasana here, so treat it as such. So if you're using a prop like me, it just goes right underneath my hips and it allows me to lift my legs up with very little effort at all. But feel free to use other things. Use your couch, use your bed, use your wall. And feel free to get, really get that, those hips and glutes close to that object that you're using. You want to close your eyes here. That's fine. If you want to do soft gaze, that's fine. And use this as a time to just refresh. This class is almost over. About two more minutes.
deep breaths. And then slowly bring one foot down and the other foot down. Little side to side action if you have the room. And then if you have a prop, you're gonna remove it. Roll onto your side. And then use your top arm to press yourself up to seated. Big ball again. Drop both head and neck. on up, tap one foot out and the other foot out. Five, four, those knees to the side. Give your feet a squeeze. Give yourself one more really quick foot rub. And then bring those knees back in. Awesome work, you guys. Thanks for coming. Have a great rest of your week. If I don't see you, I'll see you next Tuesday, hopefully. Hope you enjoyed our foot, ankle, and calf routine. Bye.